This is a step-by-step -step guide to creating your own badges and banners for the Warhammer 40k RTS series of games released between 2004 and 2008. It's valid for Dawn of War Gold, Winter Assault, Dark Crusade and Soulstorm. This allows for an added level of customization to your armies and gives the opportunity to throw a little added shade while purging some Xenos. The software you'll need is the image manipulator called GIMP. Download link is in the description which is completely free to download. Step 1. If you like a particular logo or image, get a copy of it in either JPEG or PNG or something like that. I'm going to work with this Star Wars Empire logo as an example. The key is that the simpler the image is, the better it ends up being. It's going to be downscaled quite a lot, so intricate patterns and details tend to get muddied in low pixels. So if you can keep it as simple as you can, you'll end up with better results. Step 2. Load the image in GIMP. Simply right click on PC. What's the equivalent on Mac? Does Dawn of War even work on Mac? Who cares, Mac is for heretics anyway. So right click and open with GIMP. Step 3. Before anything, make sure the image is set to RGB colors because if it's not, this is not going to work. So go to Image, Mode, and check that RGB is clicked. If it isn't, click it now. Step 4. You'll need a transparent layer underneath your badge or banner, so go to Layer, Transparency, and Add Alpha Channel. Step 5. Now you'll want to erase the parts of the image that will be taken up by the primary or secondary color you choose in the game. So this is where the previous alpha channel will come in. For example, here in this Empire logo, I want to keep the red parts of the image, but the white background I'm going to erase so that my faction color will be present. So for banners, it will be the primary color I choose in game. And for badges, it's the secondary color I choose in game. So for now, go to select and choose by color. Then left click on the color that you want to go bye bye. So in this case, it's white for me. And press delete. Look at that, isn't that sexy? Step six. Now we have to lose some weight here. So just get rid of that selection bizzo first. Go to select, none. Now go to layer and scale layer. If you're looking to make a badge, you'll need to choose 64 pixels width and 64 pixels height. If you're creating a banner, choose 64 width and 96 height. Just be aware of what you want to do with the image before you do this, because taking my empire image example here, here's what it looks like with 64 by 64. Pretty nice, right? And now here's 64 by 96. Oh, that's nasty. If you're working with a square, but you want to turn it into a banner length, just stick to 64 by 64 for the moment and I'll show you what you do with the next step. Step 7. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is image, fit canvas to layers. Now if that ends up balking your image, remember you can always control Z to undo any process that you've done. Now if that's too difficult, you can go to image, canvas size for a little more control. Don't forget, badges are 64 by 64 and banners are 64 by 96. That's very important, don't f*** that up. Now for my image, if I want a badge, shiny. Fit to canvas is my best bet. If I want a banner, image, canvas size, unchain, 64 by 96, and resize, Mr. Wizard. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but I think I want to move the Empire logo to the center of the flag. So making sure I've left clicked my layer over in the right panel, I press M on the keyboard for move and left click drag to where I want it, right in the center. Oh baby. Step eight, time to send it. Go to file, export as. Don't go to save as, that's very important because it won't save in the right file format. So export as. Now name your file, choose select file type by extension and ensure that the file has the suffix .tga. So save the file to the games directory in either badges or banners, depending on what it is you've actually made. I tend to end up saving it in both folders. It just doubles it up, but it's easier to store in the future. But whatever you like. Now hit the export button. This bit is also crucial. 
uncheck the RLE compression box. You don't want any of that. And set the origin to bottom left. And export. You're done. Launch the game and enjoy. Incidentally, see my tutorial on how to get better resolution and the game camera if you want some quality of life improvements. If you've got questions, shout out in the comments and I'll help wherever I can. If this has been helpful, why not give the video a like? I'd love a cheeky comment down below as to what badges or banners you've made. And if you're into 40k, Dawn of War or RTS, I've probably got some content here that'll tickle your pickle, so consider subscribing. Cheers. Marine squad deployed.